There are still many unanswered questions about why Muhammad Jirumira, a former district police commander of Buyende, was shot dead by unknown assassins on Saturday. The 35-year-old police officer was loved by many people all over the country, but probably nowhere more than in Nansana, where he first developed a reputation as an officer with a very proactive stance towards fighting crime and cracking down on criminals. Muhammad Genza, a former defense secretary for Nakule Zone in Nansana, worked closely with Chirumira while he was the officer in charge of Nansana Police Station. According to Genza, Chirumira had a knack for getting criminals to turn on their colleagues. When he caught a thief, he would then compel him to disclose 10 other people he steals with before promising to let him go. Genza says he had spoken to Chirumira just days before he was killed and he said he was aware that there were people intent on harming him. It has taken about a year ever since anonymous people started sending him death threats. And in one case, they sent him photos of a grave. He showed me all the pictures. Most Nansana residents we spoke to remembered Chirumira as an honest and fearless police officer. Nobody can do what Chirumira has been doing. He's not there. He had embarked on an effort to catch wrongdoers whom he always convinced to change their ways. Chirumira unearthed crime in Chibloka and started partnering with LC officials and local residents but never relied on one person's advice. I first got to know Chirumira from where I used to work from and I heard that he was a fearless officer who was capable of handling their wrongdoers. However, some of those who were victims of Chirumira's crackdowns hold a different opinion of the late police officer. So what happened? I think he loved publicity. For example, he got a gun. Like a commando, he climbed walls, but everyone has to die. May he rest in peace. Nakule Zone has over 10,000 residents, many of whom are unemployed youth, who are sometimes drawn to life of crime because of poverty. The young boys who collected the scrap are now grown-ups who steal handbags and the like. The late Muhammad Chirumira was a man with a larger-than-life personality whose ways had endeared him to many and made him an enemy to others. But for the people of Nansana, he's still mostly remembered as the police officer who genuinely tried to make life better for the people by ensuring that they lived without fear of the criminals that had been terrorizing them. Andre Nitwe, NTV, Nansana.